Jeremy is again the buzz. All this talk about the so-called flying sun. Headline edition, July 8, 1947. It's announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile, found sometime last week, has been inspected at Roswell, New Mexico. All right, nocturnal news. Now, you can clearly see this UFO is under intelligent flight control. Okay, we're going forwards and backwards. We're looking at the, the Russian Mir space station, okay? Um, now, there was a camera pointed at the big monitor, you know, inside uh, Mission Control, and that's where we, we got a lot of the video from. Also, someone basically hacked, okay, the, uh, the Russian mission control and we have even better video from the hacker so we'll get to that in a minute okay so look we see this as ufo coming down uh, bottom or what is that top right to uh bottom right um not an ice particle definitely a ufo 1222 there's a little info for you again inside mission control right here i was able to zoom in we see the, uh, another ufo go under the mirror you know spacecraft right there now a lot of you guys have probably seen this but I, like i said i've done a lot of it enhancing and um added a few filters to bring out all the detail you know that's what i like to do take the older footage and, and enhance it and try to kind of un uncover you know what is hidden beneath okay it's an art and i'm getting very good at it so uh but i got a few clips i'm going to share with you guys today but i mentioned the hacker this guy here okay basically you know set up all these satellite uh dishes in his backyard and was able to tap in to nasa and that's where we get some of the video that, that we see today you know when you do your research you, you learn all this stuff and again a lot of it is from you know the big jumbotron inside nasa but a lot of it is from this man right here you know basically hacked into nasa okay um another ufo coming in the frame now when it goes under the solar panel right there you'll see you see something kind of breaks apart did it hit it I mean, what is this weird interference right there? I don't know what is going on, but that's definitely, you know, the uh, solar panel. We'll zoom in right here, have a better look. And I've got a lot of really cool clips, you know, for you guys today. So please watch the entire video. It takes a lot of work to put them together. And, uh, you know, hopefully you'll stick around for the entire video. Okay, now right here, again, we're going forwards and backwards, you know, just to, to prove that it's definitely under intelligent control. Okay, it's not an ice particle, nothing like that. Now, I found this on third phase of moon, so shout out to those guys. I uh, thought it was a very cool video. We're going to see this orb. Okay, it's like one light, then two, then multiple. And it goes in between the cranes right here. At first, I thought it went behind both cranes, but it goes in between right there behind the second crane. Okay, uh, under kind of under the, the dock and then hovers along the water. I mean, how many USOs have we heard of? How many of these Tic Tac objects have we heard of? Um, now, this is what I believe is security footage. Okay, basically pointed out at the harbor here at the water at the bay kind of looks like Galveston Bay to me anywhere but uh, unfortunately we don't have a lot of you know background info on this particular video but uh, I put a filter on it right here and again you'll see okay it's gonna go in between the cranes right there kind of levels out goes around the dock okay kind of makes a little right hand turn right there and just kind of skims along the water like you're skipping a rock you know what is this definitely not a drone not a bird nothing like that I don't think it's, you know, CGI, computer generated. I do believe this is a UFO. Okay, and, and quickly, I wanted to share something I found at, at the NASA website, some weird 
Mars anomaly, you know, uh, could be, you know, an older satellite. I mean, I don't know. But definitely, you know, man-made, alien-made. It's not natural. I know that. So, you know, I thought it would be kind of cool to share with you guys this quick little 30-second clip here. Um, and you can see the tracks, you know, from the rover in the background. Now, I believe this is from Curiosity. I believe. I could be wrong on that. Uh, again, not a whole lot of background info. Okay, we'll go back over to NASA. Again, these I, I love these NASA videos. We see this orb, okay, up there on the big jumbotron, right? You know, thank you tax dollars right there. And you see it take off. It accelerates at an incredible rate of speed. Okay, we'll zoom in like always. Zoom in, add a filter to get the best look. Okay, now up next, I was a little skeptical about this upcoming video, I must admit. Uh, these weird flashes of light on the moon, okay? Um, but, you know, I talked to a few other UFO channels and they said they were able to verify. It came from a guy off Facebook, you know, an amateur moon, amateur sky watcher, you know, capture these, these pulsating lights. Now, again, I was able to zoom in, add filters, you know, could this be a moon base, you know? Uh, you know, or some type of experiment, you know, left behind by NASA. We know they left the reflective mirrors on there. Um, you know, the, oh, I believe it was ALSCP, LSAP, I believe, was the name of it for the Apollo mission. So, you know, could it be that? You know, I don't know. You know, and, and again, you know, I, I talked to a friend of mine and he was able to verify the video is authentic. It is real, you know, from what I can tell, but I can't personally verify it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to let it roll out, let it play out. And you guys tell me what you think.